For centuries, humanity looked up at the stars and dreamed of colonizing space. But in 2080, we realized that there was another alien world, right here on Earth-1, that we had barely touched. Welcome to the Blue Frontier. In 2080, millions of people no longer live on land. They are aquanauts, living in massive high-tech cities floating on and under the ocean. Let's start at the surface. Meet the Lillipad cities. These are gigantic, floating independent states that drift with the ocean currents near the equator. They are completely self-sustaining. They drink desalinated seawater. They are powered by wave energy, and they grow their own food in vertical algae farms. Because rising sea levels swallowed many coastal lands, these floating nations became the new homes for millions of climate refugees. But the real adventure is down below. Take a sublavator down 3,000 feet, and you enter the abyss colonies. Why live in the dark? Because that's where the treasure is. In 2080, we stop digging up the Earth's surface for minerals. Instead, we mine the ocean floor for rare metals needed for our batteries and computers. But we don't use drills that destroy nature. We use biomimetic robots machines that look and swim like jellyfish to gently harvest resources. Life down here is strange but beautiful. The cities are built inside pressure-resistant glass spheres. Outside your window, you don't see birds. You see glowing bioluminescent squids and massive whales passing by. And how do we breathe? We don't carry heavy tanks anymore. Aquinauts wear Octificio gills, lightweight neck collars that extract oxygen directly from the seawater, allowing humans to swim outside the habitats for hours, just like fish. Some people say living on Mars is the ultimate challenge. But the Aquanauts of 2080 disagree. They say there is nothing more magical than waking up in a glass bedroom, surrounded by the infinite, silent blue of the deep ocean. We have finally become the masters of both the land and the sea. 